Section 4. Using Charts Using Charts A chart gets your point across, fast. With a chart you can transform worksheet data into visual information to show comparisons, patterns, and trends. For example, you can use charts show at a glance whether sales are falling or rising this quarter. Let's revisit Cindy's CDs shop to see how Cindy can use charts in her business. Cindy has been operating the CD shop for over three months now. Cindy needs to know how the business is going by comparing forecasted and actual sales. She also just did a stock take and thinks she is carrying too much reggae music in stock. Being able to see stock amounts visually would help to make better estimates when reordering. Also, she would also like to be able to separate the monthly sales figures by genre to see how they compare. She thinks that indie music is starting to sell more than world, but needs to see the numbers to know whether this is true. There are three main categories, indie, world and alternative. To be able to see this information clearly and make quick comparisons, Cindy needs to generate a chart from her spreadsheet. Cindy has created a spreadsheet that shows how many CDs are sold by each genre in the first three months of operation. Let us create a chart that shows how each genre compares against the others, month by month for the first quarter of the year. Select the data that you want to chart, including the column headings and the row headings. Then click the Insert tab, and in the Charts group, click the Column button. You could select another chart type, but column charts are commonly used to compare items and will get your point across. Select the Column button. After you click Column, you'll see a number of column chart types to choose from. Click Clustered Column which is the first column chart in the 2D column list. That's it, we have created a chart. How Worksheet Data Appears in the Chart Now, let us have a look at how our spreadsheet data looks in this chart. The data from each worksheet cell appear a chart column. There are 9 columns in all because there are 9 cells. The column headings appear on horizontal axis of the chart. The sales amounts appear on the vertical axis of the chart. The row headings appear on the chart legend text on the right. The height of each chart is proportional to the value in the cell that it represents. So, you can see at a glance that the world genre represented by the middle column for each month was the best selling genre in January and February. However, it was outsold by the indie genre in March. Data for each music genre appears in three separate columns, one for each month. This type of chart can show you how the music genre stack up against each other, month by month. Each genre has a different color in the chart. The chart legend, created from the row titles in the worksheet, tells which color represents the data for each music genre. Indie data, for example, is in blue, and is the leftmost column for each month. The column titles from the worksheet, January, February, and March, appear at the bottom of the chart. On the left side of the chart, Excel has created a scale to help you to interpret the column heights. Chart tools, now you see them, now you don't. Before we do more work with charts, we need to know about the chart tools. After the chart is inserted on the worksheet, you will see the chart tools button appear above the tabs on the ribbon. Chart tools is a context sensitive function. You only see it when you have clicked on a chart. Once you have completed work on the chart, click outside it and the chart tools button will disappear. To get chart tools back, just click inside the chart. Chart tools has three tabs, design, layout, and format. On these tabs you'll find the commands you need to enhance your charts. Change the chart view. Once you have created a chart, you can modify it to display the data in a different way. 
For example, what if you wanted to see the columns grouped by genre instead of by month? The chart at the top shows the data grouped by month. The chart at the bottom shows the same data grouped by genre. How did we do that? It is easy in Excel. All you have to do is click a button to switch the chart view from one view to another. To create this view of the chart, just click Switch Row Column in the Data Group on the Design tab. In the chart on the right, data is grouped by rows and compares columns. Click the Switch Row Column button. Now the chart shows something different. It shows sales data grouped by genre. This tells you how each music genre did, month by month, when compared against themselves. You can switch the chart back to the original view by clicking Switch Row Column again. Add Chart Titles It's a good idea to add descriptive titles to your chart, so that readers don't have to guess what the chart is about. You can give a title to the chart itself, as well as to each axis of the chart, which measure and describe the chart data. As you can see, this chart has a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. A quick way to add chart titles is to click the chart to select it. This will make the design, layout and format tabs appear. Select the layout tab. Select the chart title button. Select the above chart menu item. Select the axis title button. Select the title below axis menu item. Select the rotated title menu item. All done. Now that you have positioned the labels, you just need to type the titles directly into the text boxes. That is the end of this presentation on creating charts in Excel 2007. This should give you a good introduction to creating charts, but be sure to spend some time and play with Excel charts using different types of data. Excel charts using different types of data.